Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. In an age of compromise and any excuse not to practice one's faith just to feel acceptable within the community, it is literally a breath of fresh air to see this. Now, despite the red circles, I'm not quite sure if you guys caught that. Here we have the entire Bayern Munich football team. They are all holding a pint of beer. But have a look at this bloke in the bottom right. Yes, it's the football player Frank Ribéry or as the French say Frank Ribéry. He is the only one that is sitting down with no beer. Why? I hear you guys ask because he's a Muslim. That's right and it is a very integral part of the Islamic faith not to drink alcohol. One of the biggest exports and one of the biggest things that Germany is known for is their beer. So if somebody is seen not contributing to that tradition of the country it can cause big problems for that person especially when Islam is the reason. Whenever people ask me brother how do I give dawah to so and so my copy paste answer for everyone is the best form of dawah is dawah through your action. Many people nowadays can give brilliant speeches mate but it's not about that anymore. The non-Muslims they just want to see action, they want us to practice what we preach. Number two nowadays like I said people are willing to sell their Islam for meagre worldly gain, for bribes, for money, for women, for cars, for a good job, they're willing to sacrifice their Islamic principles and here you have Franck Ribéry who despite being in such a prominent position the eyes of the world are falling upon him but yet this guy is staying steadfast to his belief. I respect that mate. This is a part of Islam. If he does it he's not gonna lose his faith but look at the extent to which he's going to defend this small part of his faith. Now what you guys need to realize is the media generally is against Islam. We saw what happened to Mesut Ozil when he just met with the Turkish president and it was a major problem for him. So the backlash of Frank Ribéry being the only guy sitting down with his hands in his lap could have caused major problems and the fact that he's released a non-alcoholic beer as well so he had a lot on his line. Now I know there's the self-righteous halal police that are constantly on duty and they're gonna say yeah but he's not really practicing though and in 2002 he actually looked at someone in a very strange way and I think he was swearing so why are you using him? He's not a good He's not a good role model for FIFA, do you understand? My beautiful brothers and sisters understand and realize one thing, we all have a past, we have all sinned in the past. Now the concept of forgiving is if you ask Allah for forgiveness and it is sincere and if Allah accepts your forgiveness that sin is wiped out such that it does not exist. Now if that's the case you don't know if he's asked Allah for forgiveness for whatever action that he's done. You don't know what his condition is with Allah. So that is why you leave the matter to Allah. If Allah has wiped his sin such that it didn't even exist why are you talking about something that don't exist my brother? This guy is doing it on a stage that actually matters, that all of the world's eyes is on him. Who's watching you when you're doing whatever you're doing? And you still don't have the guts to do it, coming up with excuses. This difference of opinion brother, that difference of opinion brother. According to a study half the women have a problem with alcohol and two thirds of men have a problem with alcohol. Alcoholism is a clear issue, people know that's why they're trying to cut it out but Islam has been saying this. If you guys have any doubt about the validity of this religion surely, surely this will get you to reflect because if a religion is fake, if you want loads of followers make it easy, give them some incentives, know what I mean? But Islam is the exact opposite, yeah? Why? There must be a reason that makes Islam 
stand out. And that is truth. Until next time, guys. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>